I recognize the member from Beaches East York. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I would like to commend my um, colleague from Ottawa, Vanier, on her heartfelt words and lived experience. Um, Madam Speaker, I would like to first start out commending the Solicitor General for bringing the bill, this bill forward. It is a step in the right direction towards addressing the challenges posed by repeat violent offenders. That starts with a commitment from government to move forward quickly on targeted reforms to the Criminal Code of Canada on bail. Violent crimes are on the rise in Ontario and across Canada. The trend is only increasing as time goes on, with no end in sight. It is beyond tragic to see innocent people becoming victims of horrendous offences. Public safety must be paramount, and we as leaders need to work collaboratively to ensure that it happens and that we do so immediately. There are are a growing number of calls for changes to prevent accused people who are out on bail from committing further criminal acts. Good faith initiatives from every level of the government and every police force are a necessary step, and we must confront these issues together. We need to review the judicial public and safety frameworks, commit to further work to fully understand the best remedies, identify what isn't working, and call for change to ensure that this does not continue. Everything should be on the table, and we need to ensure that these challenges are a shared responsibility. Equally important, any changes should requ require judges to consider the circumstances of people who are Indigenous or from vulnerable populations. We want to ensure that any changes do not disproportionately impact Black, Indigenous, and minority communities. Recently, Toronto has seen its share, increased share of horrible events right across the city and especially on the TTC. To that point, we all know people who are now fearful to ride transit. As we attempt to increase ridership during the pand pandemic recovery and in consideration of climate, the climate crisis that is upon us, our transit system should be attracting ridership, not the opposite. We cannot allow citizens to feel unsafe anywhere. We need to do our best to protect everyone and make every effort to ensure there is a higher level of scrutiny for offenders of serious crimes. Bill 13 is attempting to accomplish just that, if passed. Ontarians are looking to us to help keep them safe and secure. And now I'll send it to my colleague. Thank you. I recognize the member from Don Valley East.